guys, Harsh here back with another video and in this video I am going to show you how you can make a radar using the sonar sensor and the Arduino which I have right here. So let's get started. Okay so you, you require only a very few parts for this build so here is the Arduino. It's the Uno version. Of course you can use the Uno or the Nano or the Mega. So here is the sonar sensor. It's a 4 pin sonar sensor you can search it on net and to be precise it's HCSR04 so if you are very specific with this model you can check it so another thing double sided tape scissors and the main component the breadboard so we will be using this you don't need to use this actually because there are two 5 volt spots in the Arduino so you need one for the sonar sensor and one for the servo which I have right here so for that you will need some jumper wires and a laptop for programming the Arduino. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we are going to start with the breadboard. We are going to use this as a base. So place it here and take your Arduino and stick some double sided to tape to it and then just paste the Arduino on the end of the board and make sure that the power port and the USB port are on the this side, not inside. So paste it like this and do the same with the servo. So place it in the front or the back or just make sure it is in the front. And then you can take the sonar sensor and stick the servo arm to it. And then you can just place it on top of it like this. Then our staying procedure is done. So once you have placed all the components in the right place, now it's time for the wiring, which is the most difficult and annoying part and the most untidiest part of this video. So take some extension cables here or jumper wires, whatever you call them, like to call them. So I have made this custom servo cable for specifically the servo. So just uh, plug them in like this. And then you can see the yellow wire is the signal wire, the black is the ground and the red of course is the positive wire. So leave that aside for a minute and then take this four female plug and place it on the top of the, uh, the sonar sensor like this. It's hard to get in. So you will have these female ports which you can connect the male to it. So leave, leave that also but now we are going to use the power from the Arduino. So we need the 5 volt power which is right here and the ground which is right next to it right here. And then make a bus of it right here for the ground and the negative wire. Just like this. Then connect these wires, the left -over wires to your trigger echo and the positive negative of the sonar sensor just like this no need for coloring if you like you can color it it so let me just do that right now in here so you have four pins coming out of the sonar sensor like this or maybe like this yeah that's more of a formation yeah what do you think? So, on the sensor, as you can see, it says the VCC. The VCC is the power. So, let's take the last one, which is right here, and plug it in the positive 5 volts of the Arduino, which is right here. And then, take the ground wire and play, put it in the ground, which is right here. Don't worry about the wires right now, you don't need to. Then take the echo and the trigger pin. Now you can change these pins if you want in the Arduino, but for now I am plugging the echo pin in 11 and trigger pin in 10 with digital output of 10. So let me do that right now. The 10 is here and the other pin to the 11. Now, once you have placed, you need to do the servo. So, same with the servo, positive ground, connect them right here, like this. And then, the servo wire goes to the 13 pin. 
like that and now you are done with the wiring so once you are done with the wiring use some electrical tape and zip tie to make it clean like I have done here and make sure that the wire doesn't go in front of the sensor because that will be a really big problem so let's go on to the programming okay so first of all you want to do is open up the Arduino software so I have it right here go to the processing and here is the Arduino code so just click on it and it will take, take some time to open the code is in the description you can check it there so just it's opening okay so here you can see this is the code and you can see that the trigger pin number 10 echo pin to 11 and the servo my servo which is it is 12 so connect the Arduino to the PC and then go to this PC go to the properties I'm sorry I don't have the shortcut for the device manager so go on to the device manager meanwhile it's installing the drivers here okay so go to the com ports and here you can see com4 so that's our Arduino Arduino com4 so we need to remember that just close all the windows and you can just wait for this driver to install okay so the driver are installed open up the Arduino software and go to tools select the port which is COM4 and then upload the firm the program on the Arduino okay so it's done uploading and as you can see it's, it's done uploading so let's get back to the Arduino so once you have uploaded the code it will start moving like this and you can't tell anything right now because it's just moving for no reason so let's back head to the computer and let's see what we have to do next okay so once the code is uploaded open up the processing code that is also in the description so here it is it's a pd file download the processing 3 first then the code okay so it's open and here you can see this is the code for the processing so you need to change this com port right here it is right on the top you can see it in the first place so i have my com arduino on com port 4 so let me just do that right now so here is this 4 and then connect the board to the arduino and then run the processing program okay so it's open and as you can see the radar is functioning very smoothly or i should say very dramatically so as you can see it does not go full 180 degree but it still is a good data and good for a science project so let's get out of the computer and see how this works